I cannot believe it. It's nearly been nine years since the first Inside Out hit theaters. And to honor the second movie came out yesterday, I decided to change my review from Whole Town Transylvania, Transformania to Inside Out in honor of the second movie. And then, once upon a time, back in 2019, I actually saw this movie in the theaters. At the time when I first saw the movie in theaters, I didn't like it. And then over the years later, I rewatched the movies over the years. And then be looking back at myself nine years later, I just want to smack my cross and self the face. Because this movie is an outstanding masterpiece. So, you want to find out what's my thoughts on Inside Out and give me and tell you why I used to hate this movie? Well, <laughs> let's find out. Hey guys, it's Mike Plus Family here back again. And today, guys, I'm going to do. And today, guys, I'm going to do a review. On one of my one of the greatest anime movies of 2015, and that is Inside Out. Came in the year of 2015, the same year as Jurassic World, Minions, Star Wars: The Force Awakens, the Cinderella 2015 remake, which that was, which that's actually a very good movie, by the way, and of course, and, and of course. Star Wars The Force Awakens. So, anyway, guys, let's get to the plot. So, based what the plot is, it tells a story about, um, it tells the story about, um, Riley, who was actually born, and then, um, she has, like, this, um, these, um, emotions in his head, which we all know, so that way, emotions are his thoughts. So, like, joy is happy, fear is scared, anger is mad, sadness is sad, and disgust, and then, um, and then, um, and then over the years, you guys, Riley is having a happy life, and sorry for me, um, tapping my phone like this, is because my cell phone was about where, you know, the light to cut out, so that's the reason why I'm touching the, my screen to keep it all bright and all that, so yeah, so anywho, um, so over the years, um, Riley and his family, um, used to live, um, used to live, um, in, in a, um, used to live in, the, at the East Coast, um, um, used to live at, um, at the East, at the East Coast, to, in a state called Minnesota, and then around, like, at the time when, um, Riley was 10, was, um, 10 years old, they, uh, basically, um, moved, uh, unfortunately, guys, um, over the years, you guys, um, um, due to the fact that, um, that, um, Riley's, um, dad, Riley's, um, father's, um, company, um, basically, um, have to move, um, instead of, um, Riley's dad, um, working for another job, they, um, since, um, he was work since, um, since, um, he had a very good job, um, he, um, Riley's, Riley and her parents, um, moved to San Francisco, which, by the way, guys, I just went to San Francisco last summer, and yes, you guys, when I, every time when I went, when I saw the San Francisco Bridge and the whole area of San Francisco, it actually gave me Inside Out vibes, believe it or not, so, yeah, so, and then, um, oh, and then after that, um, a couple of days later, when Riley, um, went to school, um, the emotions, um, in her head, which is, um, sadness, um, made the memory of Riley walking hockey, um, sad, sad and all that, and Joy actually wanted to make Riley happy and have a good time, and then for some reason, um, Riley, um, in, I mean, not Riley, sorry guys, Joy and sadness, um, uh, went inside this, um, this tube thingy, and he actually went into, um, the, to, um, the, the land of, um, memories, where they keep all of Riley's memories, and then, um, after that, and then, um, after that, so, and then after that, um, the only, um, people, the only, um, emotions that were controlling the panel was just, um, fear, 
anger and disgust and joy and joy actually running to make Raleigh happy again. So it's up to Joy and Sadness to go back to headquarters and make Raleigh happy again. And that's basically what the plot is of this awesome movie. So yeah, so so yeah, so back in um nearly nine years ago, uh when I saw the trailer um for this movie, I was like, ah, this could have potential to be a fun movie, which we'll get into the shocking moment later, you guys. So yeah, so over the months, um, so over the months, um, you guys, um, so over the months, you guys, um, I was actually, I was actually kind of curious about this movie, and told, um, for some odd reason, back in 2015, you guys, um, my, 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 my dad and my stepmom, um, actually, actually wanted, um, to take um me and my brother to go see uh inside um to go see inside out and unfortunately guys the movie that I was excited for the most of the summer of 2015 was Ted 2 because I really love because I really loved the first Ted movie and the first Ted movie was actually the very first rated R movie I ever watched and don't worry guys I will review Ted in the Feature, you guys. I was originally going to review the movie back in 2022 for its 10th anniversary, but due to my mom's um accident and all that, I had to delay most of my reviews on a hold because of that. So yeah, hope you guys understand that. So, but anywho, so um, but anywho, and then um, my parent. So anywho, so basically, all what happened was is that we actually went to some kind of movie theater, and they only have like, and they only have like seven auditoriums. Um, there, and my brother wanted to go see Jurassic World, and I want to go see Ted, and I actually want to go see Ted too, because, um, because of that, so, and unfortunately, guys, those two movies were, st were like, stopped playing for some stupid reason, probably because due to the fact that it was a small, on uh, a small theater, so instead, you guys, um, my dad, um, took, took, um, me to go see Ted too, and Dylan, and my brother Dylan, um, uh, went to go see Jurassic World, the first movie on his own, which I was really kind of surprised that, that he saw the movie by himself, and, the, and as of 2024, you guys, Jurassic World was actually the only movie theater that my, that my brother, um, saw, that was the only movie that my brother saw by his own, because, um, according to my brother, I actually explained to him why he doesn't like going to movie theaters on his own, it's because he did, because, um, he doesn't want to, like, run any, doesn't want it to run any into danger, like, um, like, the shooting incidents and all that, which, honestly, I kind of don't blame my brother for that, like, if my brother rather go see the movie with his family, um, that's okay, I can totally understand that, but as for me, since I'm 24 years old, and since, and since I'm actually becoming more mature, you guys, um, I really love going to the movies, um, by myself, you guys, and I, and I just went, and I actually saw a lot of movies by myself, so, yeah, so, um, but any, so, but anywho, and then, um, around, like, um, over the months, um, over the months, you guys, um, this movie actually did, um, stop playing, um, at one of my local movie theaters, so, if you guys are wondering how I managed to go see the movie in the theaters, and then, um, I went to an old movie theater called Cinemark Movies West, which, rest in peace to that movie theater, because that movie theater went out of business because of COVID, so, yeah, and then, um, and I saw the I saw the movie in the theaters with um with um my with one of my with one of my buddies and all that and the and guys this is not a joke this is going to shock the fuck out of you guys when I saw this movie for the very first time I didn't like it at first that's right guys I did not like this movie at first honestly you guys I was. Fucking shaming myself for me hating this movie, which I, which I think you guys are gonna ask me in the call. I was like, whoa, 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 why do you use to hate this movie when it first came out? Honestly, guys, I don't, I couldn't answer that. It's just, I don't know if I, I just didn't understand why I did not like this movie at first. Probably because I didn't understand like the story or the plot or, 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 or what. And, and yeah, and I remember that over the months after I saw the movie, I actually called this movie the most overrated movie of 2015, and a lot of people, and yeah, a lot, most of my people at school were pissed at me and all that, so, 
So, yeah, and then around, like, um, two years later, in 2017, um, the year that I graduated high school, I actually did, um, re-watch this movie for the second time, and I said to myself, okay, I'm gonna give this movie another try. So, so, yeah, and if you guys wonder how I managed to watch the movie another try, um, basically, um, basically, um, um, basically, um, if you're wondering how I managed to watch the movie for the second time, um, basically what happened was is that my my te my high school um teacher actually got the movie on DVD, and we and we were at and we were actually um you know watching it watching it um in school and and I in my reaction to it I didn't like you know exactly like say anything or nothing. My reaction was like, okay, let's give this movie another shot. So I actually watched the second time, and then I watched, and I was like, ah, this movie was actually kind of good. And I didn't call the movie like an outstanding masterpiece. Like, um, in my personal opinion at the time, there were some other better um Pixar movies that I really liked besides this movie. And then um, I actually watched it for the third time on the last day of, on the last day of school, along with Coco. And then um, basically. And then, um, basically, I, I actually kind of liked it even, even more, and I, and I liked it even more, and even my friends, um, who know, who, that I told that I, that I actually used to hate this movie, told me what was my favorite things I love about the movie, and I told them that I actually really, you know, like, enjoy, like, the animation and all that, and I love how the movie talks about, like, the emotions inside your head and all that and that was when I was kind of understanding the story very well. And then on top of that, guys, and then I actually watched it for the fourth time, like years later, um, back last year in twenty twenty three on Disney Channel. And then I actually loved the movie ever since. And I guess what I what and guess what, guys? I actually watched it for the fifth time, you guys. And I gotta say, guys, nine years later, after this movie came out. I gotta say, Pixar, I am so, so, so sorry for me hating on this movie because after me watching the movie for the fifth time, I freaking loved it! I loved it! Also, guys, this is by out the best anime movie of 2015, right next to the Minions. Yep, I said it, guys. I think this movie and Minions are both tied as one of the best anime movies of 2015. So, yeah, so, so, yeah, so, but anyways, guys, now, the biggest reason why that I want to make this review is to let, is to give Disney, Disney and Pixar of what a notice that I am very sorry for me hating on this movie to begin with. Which I just don't know why I hate this movie to begin with. I just want to smack myself across the face for me hating on this movie. So yeah, so anyway guys, now let's get it started with um the story. The story of this movie was actually really awesome. I actually really love the story. So yeah, and so yeah, and my thoughts on the story is that I really love um how um they talk about like the emotions inside your head and all that. And, and not only just that, and not just that, I love, um, I also love, um, the companion, um, station and all, and all that, the, com the computer station in the movie was actually so freaking cool. Even the way how, um, the emotions actually looks at the screen of, of, um, Riley's emo, of Riley's emotions and all, and all that, it was actually really, really cool. So, yeah, so, and I really love how... And I really love um how um of how um the emotions actually like keep memories like inside your head like the, which which honest and also and there was actually another um memory called core memories. What core memories were are is like um the most important memories that you actually love in your in your life. Like for my kind of core memories, I love going to the movies. I love um going. To, Going to amusement parks like Disneyland. I love um going to, I love um going to um what else do I like? Oh yes, um Special Olympics. What like sports? Like for me doing like bowling, poly, 
um, poly hockey and basketball. I actually really enjoyed those. And no, you guys, I haven't done um Special Olympics recently because last time I did Special Olympics was all the way back in January, and that was before um I actually moved um out of my family's home into a group home, you guys. But don't worry, guys, I will um. Well, that was weird. Sorry, guys. So. So basically, so, um, so, but don't worry, guys, I will restart, um, doing Special Olympics in August because I heard that bowling is going to restart their schedule in August, so I'm definitely going to do Special Olympics again in August, so, so, yeah, so any, so, um, but, but anywho, but anywho, guys, um, so basically, so, um, so basically, and then, um, and then, um, there's actually a lot of these imagination lands called, um, called Family, Honesty, Hockey and goofy and goofy when I think I I think I think I think um that's that's all the lands I think because that's the all guys this is my fifth time watching this movie you guys so so I'm still understanding like the lands in the movie and all and all that and and I also really love the core memories and also and I also really love uh my friendship and all that and I think like the biggest um core memory that I actually have like in Inside my system is me on um, making new friends and all that, like making new friends on social media. Like the time, like I think the most wonderful memory that I actually had for me making new friends on on social media is when I met um fit, awesome YouTubers like Web Rock Strikes Back, Party Per Preston, um ETH, um ETH, um Ethan, um Ethan Paul Xbox One Two Six, um even um even um even all hundred one hundred, even Gwen the even Gwen the Cat, even Frozen 2 Phantasm 4, even Insult Phantasm 1, well, that was before he fucking portrayed me, so that, so that line in the garbage, like the scene in the movie, and it fades to dust, so yeah, so, but anyways, so, um, but anyways, so, um, so yeah, so those are like the kind of core memories that I have inside my head, so, <laughs> so yeah, so, um, but any. So, um, but anyways, guys, now, um, now let's get started with, um, the animation. Now, I know that, um, now, um, I can totally understand that, um, me looking, um, at the animation now with Inside Out 2, I can totally understand that the technology of the animation is getting much, much better over the years. Because, after all, this movie almost came out a decade ago, so, honest, so, honestly, guys, I gotta say, the animation in this movie is phenomenal. Which, if you guys are wondering what's my favorite um, parts I love about the animation, well, my favorite parts about um, the animation... Now, I do like the animation of the human characters, you know, like Rowling and his family and all that. But I gotta say, my favorite thing that I love about the animation... In this movie has to be the animation in Riley's head. I gotta say, the animation in Riley's head looks so gorgeous. It looks so phenomenal. Even even on um, the animation of Heck, Cores looks so freaking cool. And heck, I would have to say that after I gotta say, even the animation in this poster looks so freaking phenomenal. Even though even those color circles. Right there, I gotta say, those color circles look so freaking beautiful. So, yeah, but anywho, so, yeah, which I gotta say, throughout all the parts about the animation in this movie, I gotta say, the animation in Rowley's head has to be my favorite part, my favorite animation, my favorite on um, parts about the animation in this movie is the animation in Rowley's head. So, so, yeah, so, but anyways, guys, so... So yeah, and even like the whole entire animation of like all the like all the lands and all that inside of Riley's head, even um even um the like the memories, even the core memories look so freaking gorgeous. So yeah, so anyway guys, now let's get started with um the characters. We have um we have um Joy who's actually um the half the um the happy emotion and also and yes you guys um I and yes you guys the actress who did um play Joy is actually coming Coming back in this movie. And I gotta say. Her design in the second movie. I gotta say guys. Guys. Even though that I have not seen Inside Out 2 yet. Because um. Like I said guys. If you guys have seen my recent video you guys. Um. I was originally supposed to go see Inside Out 2 today with my girlfriend. But unfortunately guys. Due to her being super busy um. At work. We have to put our date on Inside Out 2 on a hiatus. So. Yeah, I'm really sad and dis and disappointed that I cannot see Inside Out 2 today. It's my most my best Disney movie of this year. So so yeah, so um 
so yeah, so um, but but any but um, but anyways, you guys, so so um, but anyways, you guys, so let's get back to um the the review. So so yeah, so and I so anyways, um, as I was saying about um the animation in Inside Out Two, even though that I have not seen the movie yet, I gotta say I kind of like um joint animation in Inside Out Two way more than the. First movie. Yeah, I say, guys. I think um, Joy's design in the second movie was so more beautiful in that movie than the first movie. But I still really love the animation from the first movie with the characters. Don't get me wrong. So yeah. So anyway, guys, and also um, we also have um, anger, which I gotta say this. I think um, joy and anger are actually like my favorite emotions. Like I remember when I was in high school back in back in um twenty six, back in um twenty seventeen at the time. Um, back in 2017, at the time when I actually kind of liked this movie at the time, I remember that me and my friend, um, Jesse, were doing, like, the anger impressions, and then Jesse was like, did he say no dessert? And then, and then, um, me, and then, um, Jess, and then my friend, and then Jesse and I were saying, congratulations, San Francisco, you ruined pizza! And then I remember that me, and then we were, like, doing it, like, during our lunch break when we were in high school, and me and my friend Jesse, and, and even my friend Santiago were doing the... My best friend son Tiago were doing the voice and presence vote, and we were completely laughing our butt off, our butts off for that. So, so yeah, and 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 um, and even my friend, even my friend um Jesse actually recommended me to watch the movie more often because he told me if I watch the movie um more often, then the more that I actually love this movie, and and I totally agree on his side because this is an amazing movie, and of course, and we also we have um. Fear, which is on um, the scare emotion, which um, which I gotta say is guys, fear in this movie was actually amazing. And on top of that, guys, now this is kind of going to um disappoint you guys. Um, the actor who played on um, fear in this movie, even the actress who played disgust in this movie, unfortunately, guys, to kind of um disappoint you guys. Um, the actor, the actor um who played on um, fear in this movie, and the actress who played on um, disgust in this movie, unfortunately, guys. They, they, unfortunately, guys, the sass thing is shot to all you guys. Um, the, the they didn't uh, reply the roles in the sequel. So yeah, that's that's like my, my that's actually like my small um Nick pick in this move in Inside Out Two. Even on um, the actress um who played um Riley in this movie. Unfortunately, guys, the actress who played Riley um did not reply to his role in the second movie because after all she was 14 years old when she did the movie and the things and what big coincidence guys of uh, the actress who played um riley was actually born the same year as me so that's kind of cool <laughs> so yeah so so yeah which despite my little nitpicks i have that riley that the actress who played riley is not coming back in this move in the sequel even on the actor and the Actress who played on um, Fear and Disgust are not coming back in this in the sequel. But I can tell right off the bat that Disney actually hired really good actors. And I heard that the actress who played Riley in the second in the second movie is actually on um, his first performance he, he he she she's ever gonna do. So yeah, I'm I'm very glad for that. So yeah. So anyway guys, and also um we also and also um anyways now we also have on um, Fear who's actually like you know like the scary the scary emotion, and also we also have um sadness um which is actually the sad um emotion, and of course we also we have um disgust um in this movie, and of course you guys uh we cannot forget um another character in this movie that we had, which is Riley's imaginary friend, which is which is Darden, whose friends like to play bing bong bing bong, which I gotta say I actually love bing bong in this movie. Bing bong, she is such a funny character. He is so funny and told that one scene that that Riley forgot about him and then and then he actually faded to dust, which was really kind of sad. Wait, and this is going to shot to all you guys. Um, the actor who played um, Bane Bomb in this movie is none other than the same actor who voiced it. <sighs> I cannot believe I'm going to freaking say this. Andrew's dad from Big Mouth. Moving on. You know my thoughts about Andrew's dad, which, which honestly, that, which honestly, you guys, which, which honestly, guys, which I got to stop talking about Ang about um Andrew's dad. Which you know my thoughts on Andrew's dad. I just spy that character with a burning passion. So I'm gonna so let's just move on from Andrew's dad before the moat before my anger emotion inside my head is 
gonna let out a baking fire inside my head. <laughs> so yeah, so <laughs> sorry about that, you guys. So um, so anyway, guys, I'm back. What I'm saying. So anyway, so anyway, so and then um, let's get into um some of the scenes that I really love in this movie. I really love um the opening scene of how um Rowley was actually born, and then um and then um Joy was actually like the. Uh, like the very first emotion until like 33 seconds later when um hold on you guys Sorry about that you guys back on saying you guys so um so basically so the thing I really love um So um well where was I oh yeah um another thing I also got to say um about the um uh, about this is that is that um is that I love how when Rowan was a baby and then um joy came in and then that was when sadness came in and over the years that was when um fear came in and the rest of Rowley's emotions and all and all that so so yeah so um but any but anyway so let's get into the other parts I really love in the movie I actually really love the opening of the movie and of course and of course you guys uh and of course you guys I also really um enjoy I also um really um I also um really enjoyed um the Rowley's head emotions and the way um how they actually um Got back home was really good, and then um after that um outside of Riley's head when um uh, Riley came in um his emotions is that um he was actually really kind of you know like sad and disappointed of of um him and his family moved far away from Minnesota after a long after a long long drive, so yeah which um it was actually it was actually really dev it was actually um really it was actually really devastated to Riley what. Which I'm facing you guys. I actually did have the exact same emotions as well. Like the like um her like Riley's um sad emotion, however, when like when Riley's um sad emotion, um however, um when Riley's um sad emotions, um however, um was actually real kind of sad that her and her family Moved from um Minnesota to San Francisco, California. Honestly, honestly, you guys, I actually did kind of felt the same way in twenty, in twenty thirteen when I was fourteen years old. When um when um when um when um Riley when um Riley when um when me and my family um moved from California to New Mexico, which which um uh, which let me tell you guys, throughout all the moving that I have experienced throughout my lifetime. I gotta say, for me, moving from California to New Mexico was like the most scariest move I ever had in my life, which I was so worried. Like, I remember that during the first year when I was living in New Mexico in twenty in 2014, I was actually so nervous. Like, I was so freaking nervous. That that I was that I was so nervous and so worried that I was not going to see California again. But thankfully, guys, I did been to California on um, last year when I went to San Francisco, which was actually my very first time visiting Northern California. The last time I visited Southern California because I'm actually from Southern California. Um, that was when um, that was when um, I actually that was um, that was when I went there um in 2021 for my best for my best. For my brother's um best friend's wedding and and we also went to downtown Disney um after that um right by where Disneyland is and it actually did got me some Disneyland vibes and all that and that actually really made me happy so yeah so anywho um so anywho and then um after that and then um throughout on the movie um Rob became more sad and that was when um anger actually had an idea for um for her um going back to um you know to go back to San Francisco and then after that. Um, Riley, um, Joy, um, Joy and Sad, Sadness did manage to find a way to go back to, um, you know, go back to heck, to, um, you know, go back to headquarters and, and fix Riley's mind that, um, that, um, that she wants to get, that she wants to, um, you know, like get off, um, get off the bus and all that. And she went back to her family's home and then she actually let out on um, her reaction that she was actually you know really sad about um her leaving about um leaving Minnesota and then um and then Riley's parents was like you know what I kind of miss Minnesota too and then and then and then um and then she was talking to Riley about all the fun times they were having in Minnesota and all 
that and then um and then um Riley's um parents actually gave Riley a hug because th- her parents know how sad how sad she felt about leaving Minnesota, which which yeah, I can tell by Riley she did had a really tough experience about moving to another state, which which honestly guys, I kinda don't bring Wiley because I had the exact same experience when, when me and my family moved from California to New Mexico um in twenty thirteen, one week before Christmas. So so yeah, but but other than but other than that, you guys, and then at the end of the movie, um, Raleigh um signed, Raleigh just recently just turned 12, 12 years old, and then um on top of that, and and I remember when I was watching the movie for like the fifth time last night, um when when they actually got um the new control panel, um they actually got they actually got a new um alert there, which is called um puberty, which was actually a small sneak peek of Inside Out Two, which I was so which I remember that when I watched it last night, I was like. Screaming of excitement because I was so hyped to see Inside Out 2. It was like one of my most highly anticipated movies of this year. And then um and then after that, so Riley um so Riley's um parents actually um signed up Riley for a pop for a hockey tournament in San um in San Francisco, right by where the Golden Gate Bridge is. And then Riley just turned recently just turned twelve and then Joy said Riley Riley just turned twelve years old. What could happen? And, which I know what's going to happen in the second movie. Raleigh had puberty. And we got some new emotions. Yeah! So all of that you guys. Inside Out is by now like one of the best anime movies of 2015. It's more than a movie. This is definitely a work of art right here you guys. And I actually really love this movie with all my heart now and it's and because of this you guys I am more than happy that someday in the future I'll be more than happy to definitely buy this movie on DVD because I really love the first Inside Out so much so I cannot wait to see Inside Out 2 in theaters with my girlfriend which which hopefully I'll see it soon <laughs> sorry about you guys like I gotta let out my sad emotion you guys, because I'm at, I'm I'm actually sad and devastated that um that I cannot go see Inside Out two today. So this is the reason why I'm actually making this review to cheer me up. Oh, and by the way, you guys, a big shout out to one of my YouTube followers um for making those DVDs um cheer up gifts like showing me my Paw Patrol and Animaniacs, even on the classic um Blues Clues and all that. So so I I can't pronounce um this user name, you guys. The one that has the Boss Burger image on it. So if you're watching this, thank you so much for making that video for me. That was a really great video. So yeah, so all that guys. Inside Out is by that like one of the best anime movies of, of 2015. It's more than a movie. This is definitely a definitely a work of art right here. And tell him by um that Disney Pixar is making on um, Inside Out 2. And since the movie's actually making so money at the box office, I can tell that Inside Out 2 is going to be like a big huge combat. For Disney after after um after what happened um last year that that my favorite Disney movie of all time um Wish became a box office dis disappointment and oh I forgot also got to mention this um you guys um last night you guys I talked to Party Pro Preston on Instagram about Disney's Wish and honestly you guys um he told me um he actually did told me that um he said his thoughts on the movie Wish um. He said that the movie was okay. He thought the movie was okay, but it should have like a much better story and all that. But I did explain to Preston of how much that I actually really love the movie, and he actually told me, and I actually told him of how much that I really love the end credits of showing all the Disney characters. And I told him that I was actually literally crying tears, literally based out bawling my eyes out crying when I saw that in the theaters. If you guys remember my, my witch vlog. And and honestly guys. Preston honestly did not blame my opinion. He was so emotional. When he saw when he saw um, the end credits. So so yeah. And I did explain to Preston. That Disney's Witch is my new favorite movie of all time. Even though that he did tell me that. um He's not like a, like a big huge fan of Witch. But but he doesn't like hate the movie so much. Like Inside Out Fan Child's one where the, where the fuck is his um. His um his username name is and sorry for me laying out that curse you guys it's just like you know you guys know how much I hate inside inside fans so 
So yeah, but all that guys, um, this is actually a really good, uh, amazing movie, you guys. And if you guys have never seen, never seen this movie, where the fridge have you been? This is a Amazing movie, guys. So, my final rating for Inside Out, I have to give Inside Out a hundred trillion out of ten with the My Plus Fanboy seal of approval. This is actually an amazing movie, guys. And not only that, this movie does get the My Plus Marshall seal of approval, you guys. This movie will always be known as one of Pixar's greatest movies of 2015. And, and as for the trophy, right? Here, you guys, um, that, th this is basically a trophy for me apologizing to Pixar for me hating on this movie to begin with. And I will actually never, never hate, hate on Inside Out ever again. So, so yeah, and also, like, maybe, like, somebody in the future, like, um, like, if this movie turns, like, 20 years or 30 years old or something, or something like that. Like if Pixar actually decided to like re-release this movie in the theaters. I'll be more than happy to see it again. So that way I can go see it in the theaters. So that way it will make me travel back to 2015. And apologizing myself for me hanging on this movie to begin with. So so yeah. So anyway guys. That's my review on Inside, Inside Out. If any of you guys have seen this movie. What's your opinion on this movie? My opinion on this movie. This is this is a ma this is a masterpiece. I love this movie, and I can totally understand that. Um, Adam at actual, actually, um, really enjoyed this movie. Really enjoyed Inside Out. Oh, and speaking of which, you guys, I cannot wait for next Friday for Adam at's review on Inside Out two. So yeah, so I'm really hyped for Inside for Adam at's review on Inside Out two, which I'm, which I just, which I'm just keep my fingers crossed and hopefully. He will definitely call Inside Out 2 one of the best sequels since Toy Story 2 and The Incredibles 2 and give it a, ten, a 9 out of 10 or a 10 out of 10 with the Adam at seal of approval. Please, Adam at, please, please, please don't disappoint. Please don't disappoint me, Adam at. Please don't disappoint him. Please don't disappoint me. But if he does not get the Adam at seal of approval, it is what it is. Um, he is a he is a really good film critic. Like he's a really awesome film critic. So so yeah. So so anyway, guys, I'm gonna end it here, you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to my channel. Like and share your friends. Until next time, good goodbye. Until next time. I'm saying that. I'm saying that. That that small that 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 tune in the beginning of the movie. So so yeah. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna end, it, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to my channel, like and share your friends. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for watching and goodbye. And stay tuned. And stay tuned for next time. And oh, oh fudge, where where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh, there it is. And stay tuned for next time for my most highly anticipated movie, Inside Out Two. Oh, and no, you guys, this photo was taken when I went to go see um Ghost when I went to go see um Bad Boys Ride or Die. So, so yeah. So, but hey, anyway, guys, um, thank you guys for watching, subscribe to my channel, like and share, friends. Thank you guys for watching, and goodbye.